This is the HD16 from Worko. So that for this model you've got uh, a spot LED and a flood LED uh, that you're able to mix with this rotary dial. So you've got uh, an SFT40 for the spot beam, SST40 for the flood and an SST10 for the red. Uh, so you've got a TIR optic and then uh, in the middle here there is uh, a light sensor. Uh, that will help to that will reduce the brightness down if there's an obstruction. Uh, it's good maybe for uh, if it, you know if it turns on in a bag, uh, it's not going to burn anything if that sensor is enabled. Uh, you've got um, so it's got a rotary dial here and a regular switch by pressing it in. Uh, USB C, magnetic tail cap, and takes an 18650 battery. The magnetic tail is not that strong. Uh, it, uh, if I put it onto my fridge for example it kind of wants to drop down at the front uh, the head, this is the headband it includes uh, it is a little bit flimsy on this uh, but for the magnet with it installed I, I highly doubt that it's going to be able to hold the um, this headband uh, and, and it comes with this uh, clip yeah, so um, two O-rings and a cable, of course. Uh, didn't, mine didn't come with a manual, so I kind of had to try and figure everything out. But uh, it's pretty standard UI on this uh, that we're well uh, used to on a lot of the Workos and uh, Sofan models. Uh, so yeah, I'll just go through the UI and then I go through a couple of things that I don't like. Uh, so just uh, turn it on, one press. I'll just uh, turn down the brightness. So turn down the brightness with the hold of the switch uh, and then you've got this rotary dial here so or if you uh, turn it forwards it goes all the way to the spot uh, and then if you rotate it back uh, it mixes in the flood and turns the spot off uh, and so this adjustment is not actually smooth uh, it's got about 11 steps so four steps uh, each side with one in the middle for an equal sort of mix between the LEDs. Uh, double press goes to turbo, one press drops it back uh, and then if we turn it off, hold from off, it gets to moonlight, so moonlight both LEDs are switched on. Uh, you can't you can't have it um, you can't have it turn on on your um, your set uh, mix it will always come on with those two so you can hold the switch and it will uh, ramp up in brightness with those two uh, set equally mixed um, or you you know you turn it off and on and it will remember your remember your setting uh, so what else is there here yeah, triple press gets you the red so with the red you can hold the switch down and increase decrease the brightness that way or you can use the rotary dial for just the red to about to increase the brightness up so the, yeah with this rotary switch it's quite a big jump between the lowest level and the next step up uh, but if you just if you press and hold it is smooth all the way through uh, so Switch back to the white. Uh, so when it's when it's on, you can do four presses and it will enable and disable the light sensor. Uh, I think I've got it disabled at the moment, so let's just enable that. So two blinks, two blinks for it to when it enables, and one blink for it to disable. So I'll just do the turbo now. It drops it down. And you take away the obstruction and it uh, brightens back up again. So we'll just disable the sensor now. Four presses, one blink to for disabled turbo and doesn't reduce uh, yeah, it doesn't reduce in brightness. Uh, double press from off gets you to lockout. Uh, so that means you cannot go to turbo from off the off state, uh, which I, I really don't like. Uh, and then a hold press gets you the moonlight. So if you're on the, if you are last on the red beam and you lock it out and hold it down, you'll get the lowest of the red. Uh, but yeah, so uh, let's just go over a, a couple of the 
things that I don't like. So first of all, do not buy this light. <laughs> Just uh, don't, like, don't buy it from the first batch. The, the sensor is real buggy. Uh, about 80% of the time when you hit that turbo, it will drop it down in brightness for no reason at all. If I'm walking around outside, hit the turbo, it drops down, and I have to disable it to be able to use it. So the good thing about this, the sensor, like you could buy it, uh, but uh, I prefer to I prefer buying things that work like they're advertised, uh, not to, to have bugs. But you can disable the sensor and it will remain disabled until you loosen the tail cap, you know, change the battery, and then it will re-enable again. So before it was disabled, and now it's re-enabled. Let's turn that off. But uh, another one. Uh, Another issue, so yeah, don't buy it from the first batch. I would wait for the second batch to be the, for these things to be fixed. Uh, the next one, next issue is the beam profile from this TR optic from the, oh, I'll just turn that down a bit. There, it's just, you've got a real bright ring around the, around the outer sort of spill area. And it's quite distracting outside. I really don't like it. Um, I did comment on the Workos group on Facebook that it didn't really bug me. But the more I've been using it, the more I hate it. Uh, uh, this reminds me of the Sofin IF24 Pro. Uh, it had the, the same rings. Uh, but at least you could buy an optic from the Convoy store and fit it straight in. Just dropped in and uh, screw the bezel back on. No modifications needed and it just smooths out that beam and it got rid of it. Uh, but of course you can't do that for this. Uh, so that is uh, just a bit of a negative. Um, the, the switch on this is too stiff. Uh, to be able to operate it by just pressing it like this on the side of it. When, it, when, you've got, when you're wearing it as a headlamp, you're unable to just press it. Uh, to get it to um, register the mode, I mean, re yeah, register the press, uh, and uh, I, I absolutely hate that. If it's a headlamp, um, I need to be able to just quickly do that. Otherwise, you have to you have to hold it like this, or you have to hold it like that, or you have to you know, do it with both hands. Uh, and if you, you have to press it sort of dead center, if you sort of press it around the edges, it's, it just doesn't want to work. Uh, the rotary dial here, you have to you have to rotate it really sort of slow for it to register. If you do it too quick, it doesn't it doesn't uh, register. So you just have to do it. Just have to do it nice and slow. I think now was when when I first got this and turned it on, uh, I thought that this rotary dial was faulty, but I think it's because I was rotating it too fast and it just wasn't registering. Uh, but yeah, that's that goes for that's about the, all the negatives. But for me, I would far rather uh, prefer just to have two switches up the top here, one to mix the um, LEDs and one to change brightness, and then you can just have your uh, finger underneath one hand and it doesn't really matter how stiff those switches are you know you've got the your finger under there to support it and you're able to operate it with this especially with this headband uh, it's just not a good mix you know you're trying to press it and it's just moving the head um, mount you know the whole thing around your head it's just far too stiff uh, but the, as for performance this thing is very impressive on the range uh, I measured, I think it was 335 meters at turn on, and there's just not very many headlamps on the market that offers such good range. Um, but yeah, I, like I am impressed with it. Uh, I just, I don't like, the, probably the biggest thing I don't like about it is just the rings on that spot beam uh, for the TIR, TIR optic uh, and, and probably the switch, but I could... I could uh, still use it and be happy with it, but uh, it, yeah, I, I guess it is a little bit annoying. Switches up here for me, that's, that's the best way. Uh, but I do like that they've tried something different. Uh, so I'm all for that, but uh, 
But yeah, we'll, we'll just uh, move on to the footage and I just wanted to have a bit of a talk on this one because there's a lot to discuss uh, and it's just quite hard trying to compact it all into um, a written conclusion at the end. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys like it, um, like the video and uh, let me know what you think about it.